Student says that two animals were fighting in the middle of this picture and the green one ate the red one. This M. Uh, observations and inferences. We said the first step of the scientific method is observation. Um, observation is what you see. All right, I see some green tracks perhaps. Uh, they come to the center of the page and they're kind of circling around. Uh, there's more tracks here in the middle and there's green tracks kind of going off to the bottom right corner. There's some red tracks coming down and they're also circling around in the middle and then they don't really go off the page anymore. Um, those would be observations. I see an orange block here, an orange block, an orange block. I see two white lines coming down. Those are all observations. An inference is where you kind of connect the dots that you don't necessarily see. Um, you can use some logic and some back down exp background experience, um, some biases perhaps. They can influence what you see. Uh, and that's why you got to be careful between observation and inference in science. Inference isn't always bad. Inference would be that these two animals were fighting, uh, or maybe the green one ate the red one. We don't actually see that. What we see is some footprints circling around and some footprints and some footprints circling around and they don't go anywhere. Um, because, you know, that might, that, that's an inference. We don't actually see that happen because other things that might have happened, perhaps, you know, the, we don't even know that these were here at the same time. Uh, perhaps the, the green one came in here and, and maybe smelt something around or maybe this was a good place to kind of lay down and take a nap and it circled around and it was rummaging around maybe looking for some food or having a drink of water or something and then it walks off and then perhaps later on the red one comes in and it's it's rummaging around but it's maybe a bird and it just flies off so it doesn't leave any tracks behind so and even that would be an inference because we didn't see that happen we don't know what happened and that's why you got to be careful with inferences uh, versus observations um, inferences are okay but just be aware whenever you're using them uh, in science, you know, uh, we, we, we tend to, that's why the scientific method, they say, it has to be repeatable, uh, because um, you want someone else to be able to come in and get the exact same results that you got, uh, and so in this case right here, you might have two different people coming to different conclusions altogether, and so, you know, like I said, it's, 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 it's there, um, we, we sometimes have to use inferences, if, if this is all the information we have, or these tracks, uh, but it, just be aware uh, that an inference is not as strong as an observation. And even an observation is not strong. That's why it's the first step of the scientific method instead of the last step. Because we as human beings, um, we are not very good observers. Um, optical illusions, for instance. Uh, if you draw a few squiggly lines on a, on a piece of paper, you know, your brain has a hard time you know, figuring out what that really is. It wants to connect dots that aren't necessarily there and it makes images look you know uh, distorted and 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 your brain interprets it completely wrong so observation and inferences observation is what you see inferences is when you put things in there that you didn't see and you're just trying to connect the dots that may or may not be true